This conference will now be recorded. Now, um, as yesterday, we uh, created uh, the place where we need to keep the stocks correct. So today, uh, how is that you buy the stock? Like you um, go for a grocery shopping example and you ask for rice. Then what is that he asks you? How much rice do you require? So that is what is the quantity. Okay, once you know where you keep your stock, the next part is where you want to, uh, how much stock is that you are keeping in the location. So we will uh, not link each uh, of the um, topics like yesterday's location is different. Okay, and today's um, units, that is your me measurements, like in what measurement you want to buy a particular stock. Each stock is of different measurements. Okay, like uh, when you buy milk is a different uh, unit, and when you buy a, um, a rice is different. When you buy a mobile phone, so it is different uh, units of measurement. So we call them units of measurement. Uh, like in case uh, it is numbers. Okay, I'm just giving you an example of numbers. Uh, I might take it as uh, numbers completely N U M B R S. Um, and uh, Deepika might take it as NOS. Um, Chaitra might take it as NUMB. And other might take it as um, NUM. So there will be different, for the one unit of measurement, there will be different types of units of measurement, right? So in that case, what uh, there will not be any uh, unity in the same. Even if the uh, units of measurement is the same, that is numbers, but they are in different frames that will not be applicable in a GST frame when you are taking that into GST. So that is the reason when uh, GST came and then uh, this particular units of measurement, they have created a unit quantity codes. OK, like for each units, they have created a code. So this particular code only must be used and will be used for sure. That is because um, they have been codes created for each of them. Uh, for now, as we have not activated uh, um, unit codes, um, I will open the unit codes, okay? And then I want you to take a screenshot or write down them anything, anything you want, and then we will create them. So before that, I'll just give you the explanation on unit of measurement. So stock items are purchased and sold based of uh, based of quantity. Uh, the quantity in turn is measured by units in tally such goods uh, goods and quant quantified using units of measurement. So one is the simple unit that is if it is numbers kilogram directly or using we tell them as unit simple unit of measurement and then compound is when it is like for example um, you are uh, taking the unit you're considering as box. Okay, but that one box contains 12 pe 12 pieces. So you will have two units of measurement in compound. You need to you need to have both these box and pieces created and then you will compound both these simple units of measurement into a compound units of measurement. So there will not be any units as by default in uh, location. So you had main location by default and then we created different location. But in units of measurement that won't be there you only have to um, create all the units of measurement which is required take down this you can take down this two parts simple unit of measurement compound unit of measurement
why is that um, there is confusion with the link until unless they change the link the link is the same
There is some issue. My this is not I mean, tally is not open. We just open tally. In that, go to create. You'll have units of measurement there. I don't know what is wrong with this. Do this class by the time go to gateway of tally, masters, create inventory. Uh, do this, not don't do compound, do this.
Uh, class, I'll just rejoin and restart my system. I'll just rejoin, okay? You be on. I'll just rejoin. I should have signed out. 